Do you find yourself racing to the pantry or the refrigerator when you're feeling down or upset? Finding comfort in food is common and it's part of the emotional eating cycle. People who emotionally eat typically reach for food several times a week or more to suppress and soothe negative feelings. They may even feel guilt or shame after eating this way, leading to a, a cycle of excessive eating, which only leads to feeling an emptiness or an emotional void. Food is believed to be a way to fill that void and create a false feeling of fullness or temporary wholeness. It's a harmful cycle that Giovanna had been living for years until she found the courage to admit her problem and get help by using the power of hypnosis and life coaching. She was able to break through the childhood programming, rewire and retrain her brain to eat healthy, still be able to have treats without guilt and overcome the diet culture in her workplace. See how Giovanna's courage is inspiring and heartwarming and how she learned to notice and understand herself for the first time. The reason why I was looking, it was the original thing I was, it was the emotional eating. I was literally killing myself with that. I could not stop and I would hate it myself and I would, um, I would go, I would go in the circle of, you know, because of the bad feeling, I would eat ice cream and junk and everything, and I would be feeling bad, and I would go for a run for ages, and I would it would be every time like, I couldn't stop doing this. So I knew then with my um, not eating when I was younger, it's so easy. I could not eat. I could. It was the opposite. I think it was the opposite. But there was there the issue of my eating disorder. I have eating disorder. I don't know what it was. It's anxiety. So with the emotional eating, has that changed at all? Yes. I think that I started to um, I started to eat healthy, and I was thinking then my mind needs healthy food, so I started to uh, avoid all the the ice cream. The first me, it it was well, actually it wasn't too bad. I think I'm gonna have cravings, but I didn't because uh, as um, as I am feeling better about myself, about everything, and the slime's not there, I would still have a little bit ice cream, but I know how to stop. Yes. So it's not it's not actually ruining me and and not only that I don't feel guilty about it. I have noticed also at work everybody is on bloody diet. I didn't even I just I just listened. I just said good for you. And how did that I feel? Just, I know good. <laughs> I just said good for you and didn't even engage into it. Like I would, I would eat more or less, but I would eat what really I feel like. I was what I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I try to drink. I try to drink water. I try to drink more, more water because I feel then sometimes the third is water. So if I feel again the water is more, and and breathe more oxygen. So I started to, I started to notice myself. Actually, I started to notice me. Mm. I started to notice what noticed what, what the more my body is is wanting from me which yeah. I never noticed before. That's right. So your awareness now. I started to notice then maybe it's not which I need more junk, which I need more water and see what how I'm going to respond to it. Yeah. So I started to notice more me, I would say. Fantastic. So, wow. I, I, so I think that I think that the strategy is here. And then, of course, um, your voice is here. When I got you there and I just think, I thought, you know, on, on America. So I just said, I'm just going to ask, where are you? Can you, you know, help me out? And so initially I was thinking then the hypnosis, it was for me the quick fix, to be honest, because I was thinking you're going to be like the others and you're going to be just talking to me and hypnotize me. And I wouldn't have no clue. Suddenly I will wake up and I'm going to be here. <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, so what's it changed? Is, well, it changed then the techniques and the and the ways and the, your recordings and you record. I would purchase a prior that some recording, but they are universal. But you made the recordings for me. And when I first I said, it's her voice. It's not like she's sending me some books from again from library. I'm I'm trying. It's her voice. So it's like I've been 
in therapy every day, every night. <laughs> I can hear your voice. And, and it is it's something to me. But the normally to come, I do it every day. Because that's how I revive it, rewiring myself. <laughs> you know what? The, the last time after we finished, I cry actually. I was happy, but I cried. It made me cry. I cried because I felt sorry for... And I would cry again. What did you feel sorry for? For the last time I've been suffering. Yeah. For the last time I didn't do anything for myself. Yeah, but you are. For the, for the last time I have been so mean to myself. Yeah. I've been mean to myself. I'm so proud of myself. I've done what I've done. I'm so proud of myself because I found the courage. Yes. I found the courage to to admit it. Mm -hmm. I found the courage to admit it and I've been so mean to myself. I read so many books, like I read so many books, so many books. I, I try to get even um, so many natural medicines. Wow, well, that's beautiful. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I am, I'm very happy. I'm, I thank you so much. Food may help ease emotions initially. But addressing the feelings behind the hunger is important in the long term for your health, both in mind and body. If you want to stop the emotional eating program you're subconsciously running, click on the link in the description and retrain your brain with hypnosis for weight loss. And very soon, you'll be in control, making healthy decisions easily and naturally, and you'll feel energized, motivated, and living a healthier, happier life you love.